You need to exercise. You walk? No, I need to walk. See, I need to walk too. Yes, we need. I need I to think, take a I walk. I think we're on. My watch just vibrated. Uh, yeah, and I'm we thinking on? I could ask Sarah. I don't. Ex I walk to my car. That's all. <laughs> That's how far I walk. And I'm thinking I could get Sarah to come get me every day to take a walk around the block. And or she you could would walk. Make me you come. could walk back and forth to work. You live close enough. I do, but I. It's, <laughs> too many it's, hills. It, it's a lot. A lot of, of hills. hills. I know. Yeah, they'd find me. And you know what? I've done the hills. It makes your shins hurt. Like when you walk up a hill and get yeah, those shins. Yeah, I can't have my shins hurting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah so I'm thinking but this right right outside your door I could walk around the buildings and go right back in that's a thousand percent more exercise I ever get but I need somebody to come get but you me. do go up and down these steps a few yeah, times but, a day but Janine says that doesn't count because oh. it, it says you have to have your heart beating fast for at least 30 seconds yes, yeah for yeah. to make it aerobic and, yeah mm -hmm. and so uh, Janine says that's only seven seconds to go up and down the stairs, so oh. it doesn't count. Oh, so, okay. All right. And My watch gives me credit when I go up and down stairs. Yeah. It'll say you climbed three flights today or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I should get a watch like yours. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll lose weight. <laughs> that's the key right there. Yes. Yes, I would like to do that because, you know, like, like, um, they, they say that, about that your grandchildren won't remember what you look like in a bathing suit. No, what that's they true. will remember is you got in the pool with them. That, that's that's yeah, true. That's right. But I, you know, I just can't imagine that they're not going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be burned in their memory. You know, of sight. You see a sight, uh -huh. and then you can't get it out of mm -hmm. your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, I can't take that. that chance. Oh, that reminds me of Gam in her bathing suit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hope he had deflated balloon. <laughs> <laughs> but the play the balloon. And they're going to say, that looks like Gam's yeah. legs. <laughs> I can't have that. No. What do we do? I don't know. Just don't, don't go know. swimming. Yeah. Or go with your clothes on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like the Amish do. Yeah. They do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll go with my clothes on. Are we, yes. are we on? That could work. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. But the reason why we're late is because, uh, you know, I heard they were doing this, but Tiffany's show was... Show number 997. Seven. And then Monday, your show Monday was 996. But we didn't do anything, did we? For 996? I, I don't know. Someone, Steve came up with this. But, it, but it's 997. He, he mustn't have been sleeping This either. is 998. Kimber Bell's 999. And then on Thursday night for the 1,000th show, that'll be 1,000. Yeah. And, he's and, we're, and we're doing a good bargain each day yes. associated with those numbers. Yeah. But we couldn't pick one today. Yeah. So, so Steve Steve's is looking. picking. So it's going to be on at the very, very end. Mm -hmm. Yes, so so show number, this is 998. We were looking, that's, what, that's why we're so late. We were all looking, yeah, and finally like, we gave up, so Steve says, let me do it. So yeah, he went. yeah, yeah, so, all right. So we are ready to show Bunny Knoll on Wander Lane, and uh, Ruth Ann is all ready. So where should we start with you? Okay. I'm just going to let you talk. I, I'm going to let you it on her. I'll just <laughs> so. leave this here. Okay. So people want to look at the numbers. We did yeah, this I'll last week. Around. We did this last week, but I'll leave this here. Yes. Yeah, so and I'm PJ. gonna I'm gonna go and sew the backgrounds together. Okay. And for you ladies and gentlemen who are doing Tommy's version, he put he put the wrong yeah. fabric names here. So but page three, make a note. Pa page okay. three. It should be Vines Aqua, Whisper We Aqua Whisper Weave. Again, Aqua Whisper Weave. And then what's this checkerboard called? Um. um um, if you want it to look like the one in Nancy's book, I'll go get. I'll go get it. I'll go I forget. Find out. I forget what that's called. Here, can I have your microphone? Oh, microphone. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now, I need PJ to come down on this. Okay. If you look at this quilt when it's done, the person who did the uh, bunny knoll on this one, they didn't use any of the fabrics I just told. Well, they used Divine's Aqua, and then they put white down below where we where we're going to put the checkerboard. So you can actually make your backgrounds any way you want. You can make them any way you want. So, so I don't have a microphone. Oh. There you go. Okay. So let's go over that again. We went over okay. it too fast. So we could send out an email too. Okay. So the first one he was correct on fabric A was vines aqua. Vines aqua. And that is in the book here. When you're the very first steps cutting for your house block, twelve and a half inches. That's correct. Okay. Then According to the pictures in her pattern. Yes. Fabric B. Is, is the Whisper Weave Aqua. Yes, Whisper Weave Aqua. 
Fabric C, C is also Whisper Weave Aqua because you have a square here and then you have a strip here. Yes. And then the very last one, before you get to the grass on the bottom of the block, is crisscross criss aqua. Yeah, crisscross and that, aqua. And that'll look like her picture in the book, but like I just showed you in the back of the book when Gloria stepped out, this person didn't follow that at all. And it's right in the book. They didn't follow that yeah, at all. So they put zoom white. in on that so yeah. you can... They put, they put a white in. Uh-huh, and a blue instead yeah, and of and aqua. Yeah, a blue instead of aqua, so you can make it whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. So, and we'll, we'll get Tommy to send out an email, too. So, okay. Okay. So this, he, I'm going to uh, back to PJ. up the books from the printer, and um, they are assembling right here, PJ, so and it. shipping as we speak. Okay. So and this, is, this is Gloria's. Mine's yes. over here. Okay. So and these are the numbers again. How I did this. Or, oh, I but we're going to put together the background first. And Tommy is working on May because that that was supposed to be for April, but Easter is early this year. Okay. So let's go over to the machine so she can show them the, and her presser foot. Maybe I'll change, I can change to, clear foot, yeah. Yeah. Clear. yeah. Clear. Yes, that's it. Ruth Ann's favorite foot. Okay, yes. Joni has a my foot favorite, named my, after her. Yeah, my favorite piecing foot. Okay, yeah. so this is fabric A, the vines aqua. This is fabric B, whisper weave aqua. Yes. And the book tells you what size to cut them. I think one is nine and one's four and a half, something like that, because you have to take off for your seam allowance. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to sew with my fabric right here against the toe of the foot. You don't want to put your fabric all the way out because then you'll get three eighths of an inch seam instead of a quarter inch seam. Your fingernails match the fabric. <laughs> did you plan it that way? No, but when, the, when the, I was telling Keith, when the tech did my nails, she put blue on, then she put this sparkle on top, then she took a magnet in the air around all of my nails, and she said that drew those sparkles yes. out. Isn't oh that my crazy? goodness. Okay, we'll get Gloria to run over and press this. Okay, I had press the it open. I'm going to press, press it, it open. open. Press yes, it open. Because I had the iron, iron on, so it should heat up quickly. Okay. Now the bottom of the block is going to be another Whisper Weave Aqua, followed by the crisscross. So I can put these two together while she's pressing. <coughs> and we cut them the size that is listed in the book. We didn't make them oversized this time. I do have the clear foot. Is this in your way? No. Okay. Good. I keep looking ahead and doing this to make sure my edges are still lined up. I could have stuck a pin in, but I didn't. Because this really isn't tricky sewing. Okay. This machine feeds so straight you hardly have to steer it, don't you, Gloria? Yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, you can press that one open All too, right. please. Okay. <coughs> I keep getting this frog in my throat, always on the day that I'm going to be on the show for some reason. Do you have one? Um, this one looks unopened. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Although around here we often grab a bottle that belongs to somebody else and take a drink. Don't we, Gloria? Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy Lynn. Okay, perfect. Okay. I was just saying, that we're, if we're des desperate and need a drink, sometimes we just grab any bottle. And right, it. we do. Yes. I think our immune system is really, really strong now <laughs> after that. Right? Well, we know it belongs to one of us. It's not like somebody with the plague was drinking. Well, there was a flu going around here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we I, didn't do it then. I missed out yeah. on all that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah Steve, Steve, was, really Steve was real sick, wasn't he? Yeah. Now, this is coming out longer for some reason. That's all right. I must have cut something at five instead of four and a half, but that's okay. Yeah. We'll just cut it off at the end. Yep. Okay. 
Just like right. that. And I'll go iron that. Okay. And we'll show later what I do with this. All right, I'm going to show okay. you what I do. How, I, if any of you already got um, Tommy's kit or the, um, I'm just going to grab a pen, or the um, email that he sent out, you'll notice that his bunny's tail looks like real fur. And I thought, well, Tommy isn't the only one that can do that. I can do that. So I went to my decorative character stitch right here. And I go to menu 12. Now, what machines this is on? I don't know, Gloria, what machines have this. I know the Destiny and the Solaris. Yeah. Have. And I'm going to go to stitch 53 right here. And if you look at that stitch, it almost looks like grass growing. Do you see that? I call that like a shaded applique stitch. What would you call that, Gloria? Yeah, well, it, I always use it when it's grass. Mm -hmm. So I okay. call it the grass stitch. All right. So now, but I want to sew this bunny's tail, and I want the fur to be going out to the left when I do it, or out to the right when I do it. So I have to mirror this. And the way I mirror this is I come up here to this icon, and I hit this button. It shows a left triangle and a right triangle. That mirrors it. See how it flipped the other way? Okay. Now, I can't just sew this right here along this raw edge because I wouldn't be catching the fabric. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my friction pen and I'm going to draw in about an eighth of an inch. I got to see what she's doing. So what are you doing? I'm drawing in about an eighth of an inch, and that's the edge I'm going to follow. Oh. Because if I follow this edge, Gloria, I'm not catching the fabric. Oh, See? okay. Yes. Okay. These are the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> I lay in bed and think, now, how am I going to do that bunny tail? Okay, do I have enough in the bobbin? I think so. Oh, can't use this foot. We have to put on our open toe foot. I hope there's one up here. Do we have an open mm, toe foot? We do in that case of sure. feet what date right okay i got it yeah. okay okay this is a good set of feet okay here yeah. now we'll have to put it right back yeah, in i think we should because it's a really good deal okay isn't this it? open toe foot yeah it has Cowboy. open toe obviously so i can see what i'm doing and it has a channel uh, carved in the bottom of it. So if you're sewing a thick satin stitch, it goes over it and doesn't hang up. Or a decorative stitch. There we go. Now, when I sew, I'm going to use this black line as my guide I'm when my needle swings me. left. Oh, yep. you're scanning. Okay. So, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to see if my needle stitch position placement's on. And if Joni was on here, oh, it is on because she always turns it off. She doesn't like that when she's doing uh, okay. garment sewing. Yeah. Okay, so I can put my foot that I'm going to show them that again. Go to page four. And what this does is when you put your foot down, then you drop your needle. Your needle drops, and then the foot hops up, and the feed teeth fall down. And then you can line your needle up to start exactly yes, where you want it to start. Yes, I know. That's, this, this is, is my a favorite. Perfect, yeah. You said it's worth the price of the machine. Worth the price of admission, that's <laughs> yes. right. Okay, so now I'm going to drop this needle, and it's only going to drop halfway. Do you see the foot came up? See how loose the foot is? Mm -hmm. And then I just move this to where I think I want to drop. And I want to drop right on that black line. And there we go. What's the width of this? Oh, that's way too wide, seven. You think? Don't well, you think? I don't know. You decide. That seems wide to me. I uh, can't change it though, see? Why yeah, so it's it? going to work. We'll I see. know it. It's Bunny seven, tails seven, are really isn't, furry. Isn't it going to come out and hit well, the I foot? Well, I think it, at, the, at the widest. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll know. I don't where it, it's going to hit the foot. I don't want it to it hit It couldn't. The, why couldn't it? Oh, because the, the foot opening has to be... I need to be starting. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. This is making me, I'm afraid it's going to, it swings seven millimeters the whole width. Well, only when it gets to the widest yeah. point. It says to use the end foot. Mm-hmm, that's the same opening. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Yeah, just do one everybody, of the, your everybody, needle breaks. Everybody hold your breath. Oh, it swung in. Yeah, it swung okay, in. Okay, so now you're going to lift your needle and reposition. 
Yeah. Right? Or let me see where it goes when it swings out. Yeah. Is it going to go out past? Yeah. Okay. We can do it Good that luck, way, can't Lucian. we? Okay. I didn't realize that it that it it was going to be that wide, and I couldn't change it. All right. I'm going to. Is it going okay? It's going okay. Okay. So she's sewing like. Just a little, she's just turning it oh. a little bit. I want to turn when I'm on the outside. Can't wait to see this. You could go over it twice if you don't I like could. what it looks like. Yeah, it'll make it fuzzier. Well, once we press it too, we'll get rid of the black line because that's a friction pen. See, I figured it was just going to be like, you know, three wide or something. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like at some points it is just three wide. Mm -hmm. But it won't let you change the width on it. No. It's grayed out. I can't wait to see this. Tommy's going to be mad. No. Because we can copy what he did. Mm hmm Only he made the whole tail out of thread. Part of our tail's out of fabric. I'm looking for that one and I can't find it. That block. I should have played with this stitch at home before I came, but I thought I knew how it worked. Obviously, I did not. And there you go. Okay, let's see. Let me get down. And when I press this, the black line will disappear. You can see a little bit of black through there from the friction pen. That looks great. Yeah, and I wouldn't go let's over see. it again, Gloria. I wouldn't let's go over it again see. because you don't know where the where the spikes are going to be. Yeah. I should have been a lot a little further here, but that's all right. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Looks really good. So tell them what stitch that was again. That, you, you, have, you have to go up here to character decorative stitch. Okay. And then you go to menu 12. Okay. Character that, decorative. It does look cute, huh? Yes, it does. Definitely. And I press it. Okay. Stitch character decorative. Character decorative. Menu 12. Uh -huh. Stitch 53. Here's another one that would have zigzagged both directions. Yeah. Perfect for bunny okay. tails. No. Or a toupee. She could make me a toupee. I could <laughs> make Keith a toupee out of that. Yes. <laughs> How about, do you want me to show any applique? Yeah. Like around the bunny? Yeah. I have everything else already appliqued. I have a loose thread here. I want to get it. I just didn't. I saved the bunny because he was all curvy and everything. I just want to get a loose thread out. There we go. Okay, I'll go, how about if I go like around his ears, his face, and his, and his front feet? That'll sure. be enough, won't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I want to go back to my regular applique, the one that I like. So I'm going to go back to utility stitch up here. Okay. Yes, it's okay to cancel. Well, then here I'm gonna, is then I'm gonna go the Tommy's cue, bunny the tail. Show them Tommy's bunny tail right there. See, his is all thread. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of applique. So I went back to my initial menu and I unthreaded my needle, evidently. Sorry about my watch making noise. For me? No, not for applique. This is good foot. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go to Q menu. And I like my Q14 stitch for applique. Let me show that real quick. Where's that Q14? Q, go to Q menu. Yep. Are you there? Yep. Go down to 14. 14, got it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. And I always have this up. I go to my icon up here, and I always have this strip up. Because when I stop sewing, I need to know when I'm going to start again. I'll be back at the beginning of my applique stitch. Now, I know I'm at the beginning right now because I just started, but I do want to make it smaller. I'm going to take it down to 2.2, 2.2, and 2.2, okay? okay? All right, so now I'm going to use my magic position stitch placement, however you say that. Drop my needle. Oh, the foot went down again. I don't know why. Can I close the lid of your machine? Absolutely. 
Maybe because I changed stitches. Oh, I need this here though. That's all right. Okay. So now I'm going to drop that. Make sure I have my foot control. You always want to pivot when your needle is on the outside. Don't ever pivot when it's inside the applique. Machine. Maybe my needle was down. We'll check. It. I'm surprised it didn't give a warning and say your needle's down. I didn't know that. Okay. Get this out of the way. I don't want to sew that in. Come on. Okay. I want to peek and see what uh, Steve has put in, you know, for the... How did he do it? I don't know. Can you tell, PJ? Yeah, we were running, everybody was running everywhere trying to find something really good. And then <clears throat> we were getting later and later to start the show. And finally, Steve says, never mind, I'll find something. Because we found a lot of things we liked, but there wasn't that many in stock. And Gloria knows that if she puts it on sale, everybody buys it, and then you don't have any to ship. You can't do that either. And it has to be nine ninety-eight. Yep. Because tomorrow is nine ninety-nine. Thursday night is a thousand. Yeah. The show. Thursday show. night. Is a one thousand show. Yeah. He's. You, Steve has something up his sleeve for Thursday night. Yes. So you. So that is our one thousandth show. Hard to believe. Wow. I know. I can't believe it either. So you're gonna be, you're gonna want to watch on Thursday. Right, right? on mm. Thursday, because Steve comes up with go good here. stuff. Now, when I went across there, it wasn't, it wasn't a big enough area for a whole stitch, so I yeah. kind of hold back on it. Okay. So it doesn't take a whole. I stitch. hear you say that. So here, that that sometimes she holds back on her fabric. Because I didn't want to leave a spot unstitched. Right. But I didn't want to take a whole stitch because it was going to go clear over into the other ear. Yeah. So I just kind of held back on the fabric till I filled that void down there between the ears. Okay. Right here is where you only do one stitch at a time. Love the stitching. And Jean says she's so glad she found our live shows. Oh, wonderful. She found oh. our what? She found our live shows, maybe recently, oh. I wonder. Yeah, somebody just said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Mary Ann says we want to watch every day. Good, good. That's wonderful. When I'm at home, I try yeah, to watch Jean every day. Jean said, so, so glad I found your shows. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, when I'm at home, I try to watch we every day. We love doing it. Everyone that has been on wants to be on again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Steve has to talk to me. He has some ideas. Uh oh. Okay. This must be serious. <laughs> yeah. What's your microphone? I got it. Here you go, Keith. Any color commentary? <laughs> I try to watch every day also. <laughs> he does. We both do. I sit in my chair and he sits on the couch and we both watch. I watch every day also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right up front and personal. Yeah. Okay, another curve here with his nose. Forward, back, forward, and then turn a little bit. I want to try to keep the stitches as perpendicular to the edge as I can. It was really tough going around the tips of the bunny's ears, but... I 
little Melba. <laughs> we know Melba. She came to the store. Did she went she on really? the cruise. Yeah, she came from Georgia. Wow. And then she went on the cruise with us. I want to make a trip to Georgia, so maybe I'll say hi to Melba. There you go. Uh, Chelsea went to Savannah, uh, SCAD in uh, Savannah. What is that? You have to know how to go down yonder. Down what, yonder? Yeah, yeah that's all, how they talk in the South. What are you talking about? What did she do? Uh, she went for graphic design to col oh. college at uh, Savannah. I don't even know what the acronym stands for, but it's a, a great school down mm -hmm. in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, we went one time for a long weekend with my brothers and their wives. Oh, sure. What size circles do we need for the gr glorious summer quilt? There are there are one-inch circles. There's half-inch circles. I think those are the only two sizes, I'm pretty sure. One inch and half inch, okay. Yeah, SCAD is a great school, it seems like. There's a lot of passionate people. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a deep V here. I stitch into the V. I'm going to go one more. Right into the V like that. Then I turn it. And when I do my horizontal stitch, I want to catch that fabric there so that it's really supported mm -hmm. and stitched down. Yeah, what thread? What thread is this? Oh, I'm in? using Exquisite, and it's my favorite white color, 015. I don't like the Exquisite True White because it is like blaring white to me. This is called Natural. Okay, hold it there one second. I natural, and it's there my favorite. Natural. And here I brought my own spool today in case we didn't have one available. Okay. 015. There it is. That's my favorite. I have two full spools at home and this partial. To are make you sure I always have Are you careful with that sticky paper that on top of those spools of thread? Ah, uh, sometimes they come off. These aren't these aren't too bad though. Yeah. But if they look like they're going to start to come off, sometimes I'll take a, or I get him to do it because his handwriting is better than mine, and he'll yeah. take a sharpie and mar mark it on the edge here with real tiny numbers, mm -hmm. a real fine sharpie. Or you can put it on there after the after the sticker comes off. Oh, I didn't turn mine off. Okay, but it only rang once. It wasn't mine. <laughs> okay. That's over in the other room, I think. I forgot to turn mine off. One of the very first times I taught for you, I think it was back in 2021, my phone started to ring in the middle of the show. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. I had to run to my purse and get it. And I'm sure it was a spam. It was me telling you how much I loved you. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> That's nice. Maybe it was. Yeah. So I bet they couldn't hear that. I right? think they did. Yeah, they I did hear it? Yeah. Yeah, so it was Keith said, okay. maybe it was me telling you how much I love you. That's so nice. <laughs> All right. I just wanted them to see about going around curves. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Yeah, really good. So now when I get home, all I have to do is finish this bunny, and then I'll be done with this block. You know I'm behind, though, in my little six-inch blocks that are around the edge. Oh, oh, how beautiful. I have them all the way. I have them all done through uh, fr Carol Frost Hill. Carol loves I, doing those. Yeah, Carol, I, who works here, what, what we more? could get her to sit down and help you make them. Well, I, ha day. I have to do f uh, February, March. Yeah. I have January done. Mm -hmm. And that was a tough one with the mitten and the tree and all right, that. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, Steve has come up with some really good things for that nine ninety eight price, so okay. it's going to be fun. But I would like to show my embroiderers how to get started. Okay. So I'm going to switch places with Ruth Ann. What machine and is that that, you, that you're using here? This is the Baby Lock Solaris okay. Vision. Yes, it is wonderful. It has got so many features, right? There's you continue to learn it for years because it has so many features. When yes. I watch you on the show, I, I learn stuff every time. Every time. I've had it's it like since so for, wonderful. I've had it for six years almost. Now I do, I'm just going to give you a little taste of IQ Designer to do the, back, the quilting 
on this. But first, we're going to get the, the fabric placed in the hoop. So what I have is I have uh, my hoop, I have my largest hoop, and I have the medium weight tearaway. I have shape flex interfacing, the fusible shape flex with the fusible side facing up. Okay, and I'm gonna move it out of the way. And then I also wanna thread the machine with a color that I'm going to be able to see. So I think I'm going to, white won't work. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna grab Oh, let's go. Well, I mean, maybe I should use something that everybody's going to be able to see. Here's a green that will be able to see that. And it will be hidden. Okay, so I'm going to, and I have to change to the embroidery foot. So now I'm ready to sit down. Okay. You can take the magnifier off if you want. Oh, yeah, okay. Here, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, PJ Here, I PJ think. will take it off. Yes. Okay, so first I'm going to change to the correct presser foot. So I've got my multi-purpose screwdriver here. Well, I like to keep my feet up at the top. I like to keep uh, an extra bobbin and an extra gray spool cap here. And look at, we've been missing our felt pad. I keep forgetting. <gasps> we should tell Steve to go get those because these people would like them. But see, yeah, see if I don't have sags? the felt, yeah, it, it'll jump it, around. It kind of sags. I'm just gonna take my chances but i should have the that white felt pad here Push put my tight. Push uh, tight. yeah then i put my thread on the whole way and push that in but it still can jump around so you want to make sure that you don't lose it sometimes when we pull our spool of thread off the felt pad comes with it so i bet that's how it, it came off and it no one else had flung behind the machine or uh, under the cabinet on the floor. So I'll have to run down to shipping and get another one. But it's really important. Oh, look at I put the white thread right back on. So there we go. And we'll put in the green. Maybe not. Unclip it. There we go. That's what we love about these threads is... Oh, look at these. I'm going to unclip it again. Is that you can pull that out, wind your thread up so it doesn't have to go around five or six times like it was. Just as long as you catch it, go once around and then clip it down. And then it's going to hold that thread and prevent it from unwinding. So we it's just another reason why needle. we love our exquisite threads. Is it, is it so, uh, you can thread them in that. And I'll show them after your mom's done. All right. I found something on my phone that is really helping me. I'll have to show you later. It isn't anything to do with sewing, uh -uh. but everybody has the feature on their machine. You know, I've been saying how forgetful I've been, and um, I found this. It's tasks, and right, everybody has it on their iPhone. And you can put in there, so I want to remember to get a, a felt pad. So I'm worried about my machine hitting the wall. So I am going to pull that machine a little farther forward. And that's just because I we don't have the leaf pulled down. Okay, so I'm gonna thread the machine. Okay, and slide my hoop on. And it's all the way back, so now you'll know if you're going to hit the yes, wall. Yes, I think I'm safe. Yep. I didn't feel it. I don't know. It's, it's pretty close. close. Pushing the quilt. <laughs> yeah, let's let's so check. Gonna, yeah, I am one inch away. Okay, That's you all. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to go home. Hold on one okay. second. I might need to adjust the camera. Okay. Okay, here. Machine. So let's see here. I'm just going to do this real quick. There we go. There you go. Just like that. Okay, there you go. Okay, and I'm going to go to embroidery. Remove the embroidery frame. Oh, I didn't let it calibrate. Well, we so I'm going to slide it off. We were checking the wall. And then, okay. Okay, now I saved it in the pocket, but you will just put your flash drive in. Um, it's saved on the machine, so I'm going to select this one and set. All right, now I'll slide my hoop on. Okay. Now, is Diane doing hers? 
her uh, Ruth Ann's friend Diane is coming. Is she using your method or no, Tommy's? No, she's doing Tommy's. Tommy's, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is good for you to watch along here. I'm going to press embroidery. And it's going to show me my first step, and it's just lines. So I'll just press start. And it's going to sew those little placement lines. Oh, I guess it's going to do uh, uh, a positioning line for the whole block. Okay, and what oh, did really? I do with oh, the yeah. fabric? The what back end, right here. Oh, oh, there it is, right there. Oh. And actually... Oh, that's not good. That was one to fold over. I'm going to have to be careful. Actually, what happened when I cut this, I did cut this one a half inch too big, so it, 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 this it is, should be all this right. Is, this right. is the culprit right here. Yeah, okay. I just, I just okay. figured it out. Okay. Okay. You need to move that? I don't know, because your camera's on it. So it is using the full width of the hoop. So, okay, so the placement line. Okay, here's the next and one. And that's, that's how to place your background fabric, right? Right. And so it's going to line up. These little placement lines are going to line up with the seams in the fabric. And so that is going to be this way. Okay. Yep. That looks close together. Sure does. Yeah, I wonder if he was following along with another one. Oh, uh -oh. oh let's see. There. Yeah, that'll be this here, this and this. Yeah, so here. Okay, it's ready. Okay, a position. Let's see. Oops. And I'll just position those seams. I'm looking for the, oh, I have to go way, way up. Way, way up. And here. Okay, so it is. Okay, see, this one? yeah, Keep so let's one. look, let's make sure here, oh, okay, a little bit a more, inch. yeah, so what size, so he's a, he has a, a 12 and a half, okay, so here, there, you seem so long, okay, that's looking good, okay, so I'm just peeking under, but why, did, why does this seem so long, yeah, so that one, I don't know. Let's. Or should we look at the book? Did we? Did we cut that? What the middle one? The correct width. Let Do me check see. that. Let me look. Four and a half. Four. And a, the middle one should be three. Three. And That's what did we do? We went wider. Yes. Yes. We, not we, me. Okay. So, um, so. Let's jump to well, showing could just, them. And we could, you can just, just stitch it down. This just one will just it. be narrower. That's yeah, all. right. And that won't make any no, difference. won't make any difference at all. But you do it right. That okay. Was, yeah, that was so my fault. So we cut our middle fabric It wrong. should have been three, and I cut this, and, and the, I cut it at four and a half, the same as this. Mm. I bumped so your camera. Yeah. That's okay. So here, this I'm just peeking this underneath yes, and yes, making yeah, sure that correct. seam is lining up. See, now when I did it at home, it was correct. So this yeah. one, it is only, I did yeah, cut this one. Yeah, we were in a hurry. Three. And we were worried about $9.98 the, <laughs> the whole day. So you'll just okay. have, this right here will just be a little narrower. That's all. Mm -hmm. So I'm good there. Okay, I'm good here. So I'm going to start to sew. I was having okay. cutting issues. I was having a bad math day. <laughs> yes. So... Now I want you to see, Tommy made the stitch length longer, so it's easier to pull out. So here, Ruth Ann, he has it at exactly yes. 12 and a half. So, but it's going to get ironed in place anyhow. Well, and you're, you're stitched on the sides. It's not going to go yes, anywhere. Yes, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bubble. Look at that. I got mm -hmm. a bubble. Is that going to make, yeah. Okay, so here. I am gonna, I need a pair of squeezy snips right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. Would you 
rather have a lighted scene ripper? <laughs> Maybe I would, huh? The lighted seam rippers came in today. And so, oh, did they? Yes. Yeah, so those of you that um, ordered them, they are packing your orders yeah, he right got it now. For you. He got it ready for you. Show them. Yeah, let's see. So here is the lighted seam ripper. Now this is going to come in handy when you go to snip these th uh, slip these threads. So it's got a bright, bright light. I'm going to put it up to the camera so you can see. And it's also a very, very sharp little seam ripper. I think this would be easier if it was closer to me. Yeah, but here I could just lift up and do that. It's a very sharp seam ripper. And we did order in extra, so we do have some to sell. And I think I'm good. The bubble stopped there. So I'm going to give this one back to you, PJ. Okay. okay, and slide back on. I'm going to back up. Okay, so back up to, oh, so I'm going to go plus minus on my screen and back up minus. Let's go minus 10, 10 more. I think I'm good there. Okay, and I'm just going to hold it here and so trying to make sure I don't get another bubble. And I got my squeezy snips here. I moved them just in time. I'm worried about another bubble. I think I'm okay. I think I got it here. So there. I want to make sure it doesn't bubble. Okay, then we're going to take it to the iron and press it in place, making sure we don't touch okay. the, okay, the, Here, I'll get it. the shape flex where it's going to gum up Here. my iron and then that will be fused in place. Alrighty. Okay, so there, that's how you get it started. But everyone was asking about uh, background quilting. Okay, and the, the right way to do quilting is to do it after the backing is on and before the binding. But if you do it like our way, you're fine. We've already done the wraparound binding. So I hooped it, okay? And I think, you know, I'll, I'll wanna do a little more of this on Friday to show you how to quilt with IQ Designer. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to white thread because that will look better. And I might even go so far as to stitch a little bit more. Okay. And so I'm looking at the picture in the pattern. So if you pass me the bunny notebook, I can oh, right point here. to what I want them to look I'm at. The yep. book. Okay. Yeah, the pattern's mine. The book's That's hers. Good. And there and there. Okay. So maybe I'll slide that hoop off just so you can see what I did. And I'm thinking that by drawing on the quilting, so I looked at my book and I can see uh, they had, she had a line here, a line here, and a line over here. And then can you, if I, if I just hold it right yeah, here, can you too. zoom in so they can see those curly cues? Mm -hmm. I think we can see them pretty well. Yeah, so yeah, I can zoom real far in. Let's yeah, see, so they they have them on all the all of them, and you can put them in later. Okay, so so I just drew a couple of them on, and I used a felt tip pen here, and then I used the ballpoint pen here. I am not sure which one is going to work better. I haven't done this. I like to do my. IQ designer work where I haven't done it before because you know if I if I have all the numbers correct and um, and I then you don't know why I pick the numbers so okay so we are gonna go to IQ designer okay so we're gonna go home okay then we're going to IQ designer pressing the leaf image scan and scan. The frame will move. That's okay. So it's maybe warning you, are you far away from the wall, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna take a picture of what I have in the hoop. 
Now remember I did it with a friction pen, so if I'm not right on the line, um, I can just, uh, I tested it on a corner of the fabric and the friction pen does completely disappear when I touch it with the warm iron. You want to test that because uh, some fabrics it doesn't disappear. And do you know long arm quilters, they'll use a hot blow dryer do to they? get the friction pen off because okay. they don't have an iron at their, you know, at their machine. Yeah. So it's taken doing the three passes to, it's, I have it in the biggest hoop. Okay, now I need to draw. Okay, so I have my mouse. I can hardly see the lines. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to do is darken that picture a little bit. Can't darken it the whole way because then you can't see the lines that you drew. So I'm going up to the top. And I'm just going to darken it a little bit. And I can see the lines. Maybe I could go one more. And, um, and so I want to go, I just want to do it as a straight stitch. So I'm going to go to line properties and straight stitch. But I want to draw a line. Do you think I can do it? I'm going to try. But most of the time I do better with this lightning bolt and I like to just click along the line. Uh, so we'll see how, but it really doesn't matter because um, if I go crooked, the line underneath is going to disappear. So I want to do a curved line. We're going to see how I do. I'm going to go red and OK. Now I'm going to go, I have the pencil right here. It's already highlighted. And I'll just go down here, press down. Oh, I'm terrible at it. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So it's like, for me, it's hopeless. Um, I'm going to pan and you can see how terrible I do. Look at that. It's all terrible crooked. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see it. If I lighten the picture, look, it's awful. Okay, so I don't like doing it that way. Okay, so we are going to undo. Okay, now let's try a different way. So let's go to line properties and let's plot that line like the way I like to do it. So there, and I'm going to go red. So it's the lightning bolt, straight stitch, red, and okay. All right, now I'm going to go down here and just go click and... Oh, I clicked down where I left off. Click, just, oh, it's got, like, see, it's all connected. Okay, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that crooked line. I'm going to click down on that, do a little farther, click. So just click, like, every, oh, let's say every quarter inch. Make sure you like what you see. Click down, keep going. Click down, and I'm going to oh, end it better. right there. Much better. Okay, much better. So let's go next. And I'll just do that one little part. Okay, so here you tell it what stitch length. And I know from doing it that this point zero eight zero is about a two stitch length. So Ruth Ann, what is good for quilting? Do they like two? Uh, I'm going to switch it to millimeters. I understand a, a millimeters A lot of long arm better. quilters use very, very tiny stitches. Right. I do not. I would say I probably use about a two. Two. Okay, let's see where it is. It's at a two. So we're happy. Okay, let's set that. Now you, you could do all the lines at once, but we're just going to do one just so you can see. And I'm thinking this would be something fun to do um, on Friday, teach them how to do background quilting. Because there's some areas where it looks like a fancy fill, so I think we got to do that. Okay, so there, and I'm ready to go, right? We're going to see what happens. Okay, so I have the white in the top and the bottom. It's going to go backwards. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, even though I told it just single, it always does it as a double. But it's still very thin. Okay, I think what we're going to need to do is iron that away. Uh, iron I the friction the pen away in order for them to <coughs> see. So, uh, like, should I try a harder one? Friday we'll do harder ones. Yeah. Here, yeah. I have the iron hot. Because I think it. this is really awesome, isn't it? So we can copy the quilting and yeah so just iron that one little section away okay. and then I, I think we're good I mean we gave them a taste of it so showed them how to get it started and I'm really excited we can do our own background quilting yeah and it's a nice smooth curve 
It doesn't look like it on the screen, but it is a nice yeah, smooth car. So here, zoom in on that. I think it's going to be perfect. And then you will here. have the background quilting. I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Oh, so here. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, you see it? Okay. So I have the embroidery thread in the bobbin, right? So I would really do this. Oh, we should pull up our bobbin thread. When you started, yeah. Yes, we should have pulled up our bobbin thread. And, um, and so we'll do that on Friday. So I'll play around with it and um, give them some good instructions on Friday. And I think it's, that's going to be really neat to create our own background quilting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to follow right along with the way Nancy quilted it. Yes. So, all and right. It, and it doesn't have to be heavily quilted. Right. No, no. no. no she just did it no. real light. Yes. So maybe we should show them some products because I'm dying to know what else Steve has put in. Okay. Did he bring anything well, into you? Are we going to show them anything? A couple are things. we going to show them anything from the door banners or glorious? Oh summer? yeah, yeah. We should. Yes. Yeah. So we have a lot to show you. All right. Let's go up to the table. And and do we have the door banners in there? Um, we, we will. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Steve will run for it for us mm -hmm. if we need it. Yes. And we have so. we have maize here. It was in a box here somewhere. Um, it was here, yeah. Uh, it's a little like greenish, bluish colored box. Well, we can start with he, the Steve Bunny Knoll design. Sure. Steve has them next door. Yeah. So we should start with the, the Bunny Knoll book. Let me, let me see if I can find if it. If they want to do it Ruth Ann's way. They, they would buy just the book and then the fabric. Okay, so here is the book. The book, all right. So this is Bunny Knoll on Wander Lane. Now, where is hers? Okay, here's. This is, if you want to do it, the sewing way. We're on the sewing machine. Okay, now go to um, Tommy's version. And what did I do with it, PJ? Um, Right here, right and here. Got, I got oh, right with here. his yeah. book and okay, yeah, and then the flash drive is that in there? Because mm -hmm. he yes. he included something in with it uh, that I want to show them. Okay, so did you you have something else? I do. I do. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah. That's okay. It will be at to, the end. You have to stall. Okay, we will stall. I'm not ready yet. So yeah, you have to just stall. I love it. So, I love it. Okay, okay. we we're ready. We yes. Just talk to him. Yeah. When did you come up with this idea? Um, I, you I come in here. Uh -huh. So I got there. So um, one of our people that help us on our Facebook group, um, mm -hmm. I think it was Colin. She's mentioned like uh, a few days ago. It was like this, like I guess nine hundred eighty something show, uh -huh. and I just was like, Ooh, wow, we're close to a thousand. Uh -huh. So I just counted it out, and it just so happens mm -hmm. that our yeah our thousand show is going to be on Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday, that's perfect. And it's our favorite day of the week. Yes. Thursday is so. Mm -hmm. Just that we're just that lucky that it happens to be <laughs> the thousands. And if it wasn't, if it wasn't, like you would have made it. I was gonna like uh, add a show or cancel a show. I was gonna cancel, you know, <laughs> yeah, so it would yeah. be. But, okay. So yeah, so we're gonna have some special stuff uh, that night. And then, uh, and I was talking to Kathy this morning. She said, "Well, I want to do Kimberbell fabric tomorrow." Uh, for nine ninety nine a yard. Okay. Because it's the nine hundred ninety ninth show. Okay, get ready. So okay. So then Tiffany's like, I want to do bargains at nine ninety seven, and then <laughs> so we're we're uh, we're going yeah. with it. So yeah. yeah. So okay. I have, so um, have this. To, there's okay. Couple, but, yeah. but yeah, you've been not any more I have than more those stuff. two. Just have to more. stall. Just okay. talk to them. Yes. <laughs> so. okay, okay. I'll be we back. love it. Okay. Uh, All right. That sounds like fun. All right. Okay. So here uh, in the bubble is. Tommy's embroidery design set. So here is, uh, so they they uh, did their graphic designing and took photos. It's going to be much easier to see what fabrics to use, but they also list all the fabrics right in mm -hmm. the book. So really nice. So step-by-step -step instructions that follow right along with the numbers in on your machine. So step five, we'll say step number five on your machine. On your screen, yeah. Okay, so there, this is the case. Okay, so here's the case, but even better is what inside. So you, it's already on a flash drive. Okay, already on a flash drive, 
and he is including this little the button set. Yes, I so, have to get a button set for him. Yeah, all I have for is yours. November and December. That's all I have. But look at how cute. Like I think, where did mine go? Mine is right over. Oh, oh no, that was yours. Here's mine. Okay, so I think that I don't it just see where needs it goes. something. No, it goes on. This, the three oh, bunnies. Oh, okay, on the three yeah, bunnies. Yeah, okay. so, but Tommy digitized that. <coughs> but I feel like this this needs a baby chick somewhere, right? It'll, it'll just add to it. It could be, you know, over here. It could be, I'm thinking, right there where you mm -hmm. really can see it. Yep. I love it, don't you? So you're going to get, and then also there are some other buttons in here. So I mean, maybe that's the doorknob. I'm thinking. Oh, and that's one of those really nice female clay buttons somebody yeah, made. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's going to get a set of those buttons as a bonus. Okay. He likes to give bonuses. Also, uh, they have printed out the fabric. So if you can't tell what fabric or in the list, we have uh, listed uh, the f name of the fabric. You can go to this paper and you'll be able to see what fabric that is. So, so, okay. So then, okay, so everybody that gets the embroidery design collection also gets Nancy's book. Okay, so gets Nancy's book. And so you need that because you, you have to do all the projects and all her dimensions well, are Well, and there. you have to make your background and Yeah, all, that. all of that. So, okay, so all of that is, will be in there. They are putting them together as we speak right now and getting them shipped in there. So it's going to be really fun. Okay, now should we show them? I mean, we've been showing them the fabrics collection should we show here yes <laughs> <laughs> yes i was fumbling with it of course yes there we go okay so um oh i see you have other things in the lineup pj the quilter select non-slip ruler right where's the little book yeah oh right. i have a featherweight hot fix so we both love this Mm -hmm. I have a roll, open roll right here, but this is how it comes. It comes um, 12 inches by 10 yards. So I cannot believe how much of this we've sold. Mm. Yeah, which is absolutely wonderful. And I, love the, I like the sheets too that go in the printer. Yeah, the sheets that go in the printer are really nice mm -hmm. too. So I don't even know whether we have those in the lineup. We'll have to make sure we put it in for Thursday. Who mm -hmm. knows what he's going to do for Thursday. You know, it'll be certain items, and he said what you buy tonight, what you buy today, will not be on for Thursday. So it won't, you won't lose by buying today. No. So, okay, so the Featherweight Hot Fix we absolutely love. And um, now you had in there, oh, the medium weight cut. Oh, guess what? It's medium weight tear away. Tear away. Tear away. And I have a roll right here mm -hmm. and this isn't the whole roll let me see if i have it over here i can tell just by grabbing it i don't see but it's it's going to be as big a roll as the as uh the no show mm -hmm. see i'm running low yeah right my my roll is much thinner mm -hmm. so but it is 20 inches by 25 yards of medium weight tear away and we we tried out we you know in the very beginning if you've been with us uh for since the beginning, since um, Liberty Heights on Wonder Lane, um, we were using no show, and no show shrinks. Shrinks when you press it. Yes. Did you know that before? I, I don't use no show very often. Yeah. Okay. So we. I we might use it on it. my little Kimberbell projects because I don't really press them afterwards. Mm -hmm. But like this, you want to press it yes. to make sure all your appliques are sticking. And it was a, a a viewer that said. Doesn't no shows shrink? And I went, oh, no, it doesn't shrink. And then I ironed it, and it did. It puckered. And a lot of after. people were blaming the SF 101, and it's not the SF 101. No, it's the no show. No show. So we have to no show. We use when we want to leave it in the project, right? Mm -hmm. And um, now, now for your oh, we'll, we'll be going over yeah. glorious summer, right. okay? Oh yeah, we need the SF 101. So the shape flex. So this is a packages shape flex. And we stabilize all of our background pieces. I have to get some of um, that today. All of my, all the blocks have it behind it. So let me see where they went. Let's 
so so here I didn't rip away the tear away yet but so the tear away I'll rip that away okay and then hopefully you'll be able to see that do you need this I uh, oh yeah I love that it's just so much easier. And this is your SF-101 yes. here too, Gloria. Right, the SF-101 in the hoop With there. With the sticky side up, glue yeah, side up. Yeah, this, this one's kind of hard to see because it's on a light fabric, but you can see that I have the SF-101. So yeah, to get all these pieces out, you have to have Oops. this. This what is happened? a brand new item for us, mm -hmm. and it it's I just wonderful. Tried it. Yeah, it it really is. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like it's ground okay, flat Here, on this side. I, I had I messed up. Okay, okay. and also and also, it's it's like when you after you iron on your um, hot fix or or whatever fusible you're so using. So without it, helps you, it, it helps you're you going started. like this, mm -hmm. and then you can get it. But with it, you just it's it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can, it's so much easier. And to peel away the hot, uh, the paper yep. on the hot fix, or it's if so you're much using, easier. And, and what we're using with our Glorious Summer is a fusible stabilizer in the hoop. Mm -hmm. So you you score it around the edges with that and then Yeah, pull peel it off. it off. Yeah, so we are using this every day now. Just about. Well, how do we live without it? I don't know. I don't know. We use a straight pen and poke the hole. Yeah, through. I've worked. <laughs> worked harder. This is making it a lot easier. So... And we say, do like Ruth Ann. And so where's our package, PJ? So Ruth, we, I slip And this the one top. especially, because there's no hole in the handle, so you can't hang it up. Yeah. So you want to keep your package. Yeah. And it's very heavy. It's metal all the way down to the end of the handle. It's not a plastic handle on a and metal we keep tip. it it's in nice there so we don't lose it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like mm -hmm. Now, okay. What else should we do? How about, can we do Glorious Summer? Since sure. we're talking about fusibles and, yes. and, and stabilizers. Okay, I'll move these away. Instead of showing you the pattern, ah, we're going to show ah. you our, our Thursday Deb, as we call her. You guys have heard of her. She always works, only works on Thursdays. Well, this week she had to come this way for a doctor's appointment, so she came on in and worked yes, today. Yes, that's and wonderful. She, I haven't done this much. I, I only have my placement lines. I, don't, I haven't done this much. So mm -hmm. you make you'll make this block four times. So where is the uh, pattern? The pattern. So we can show them what it looks like. PJ knows. And then these are border. These are some. Now of your when are we going to start fabrics. teaching this? We want to make sure we Everybody have all the has kits. their kits. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are. Oh, show them the front cover. Front cover. Can I just take it out? Sure. Yeah. Just because there's a little glare. Glare. Okay. Yeah, glare. Okay. So you can see that this. Right here is her center. If you yes. turn, it, turn it like a diamond, it'll look like. Yes, look and at then, that. And then these, in the darker shade, all your all your backgrounds are going to have a lighter and a slightly darker shade. Uh -huh. If you order the blue, if you order the charcoal and black, if you order. Now the oatmeal and beige are a little more different. Yes. There's a little more variety there. Mm -hmm. But you'll see how this will go like this. It's, yes. just, it's just a tad Gorgeous. darker. Gorgeous. Okay, just I'll a move tad the picture darker. away, so. No, no, of course yours, yours will have the stabilizer. Wow, shot beautiful. But, but, but look up in the picture, like you mm -hmm. can just see it's just a shade different. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is really mm -hmm. nice. But the way Smith Street Designs has told us to do it, Shape Flex FS, the, well, they say fusible interfacing, SF-101 is what we use. Mm -hmm. And then the sticky in the hoop, where you peel the paper off and stick it, and then, mm -hmm. a, and then a slab of the of the medium tear away underneath. underneath the whole thing yeah and when I did mine I did stick a couple pieces of Kimberbell tape and so it started stitching Do we have I, the sticky stabilizer I, here Let me um, see. I don't think we have it in we'll show it Thursday okay sticky uh, I didn't oh, want it I didn't make, want it to make slip. Kathy show it tomorrow because it's a Kimberbell yes okay. a product yes and, and I bought I, I had away. I had some sticky at home and you know sticky when we're when yeah. And what's the, mm -hmm. we, we have a couple sizes. We have 12 mm -hmm. by 10 and 20 by 5. Which so, would you oh. oh. Well. Because it's how wide is yes, this? Yeah, that's, yeah. So, I yes. Think, I think you might need both. You and I only both. have 12 by 10 at home, so mine just barely fits in the hoop. And I was able to make it work. So there's 10. Mm -hmm. 
So it's 12, though. But the, but oh, but they, the size the of the problem, hoop. The problem is when I used my biggest hoop, it, it just barely fit in the hoop. Yeah. So, so it's not really attached too well on the sides, but it's sewed out all right. Yeah. So we're going to have to get to 20 so by 10 5 also. Yeah. I need to write all this down before I leave here today. Yeah. I need a, I need <laughs> shape flex. I need that. Uh -huh. um, I need another medium tear away. Yes, so look at these okay. colors. It is looking spectacular, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. So you will get... And Deb is doing the tack and trim method. She's not fusing them. Oh, okay. So the tacks the, fa tacks the fabric down. She uses her little snips. It goes and like cuts. this. And then, and then it appliques it down. Okay. Well, yeah, it appliques it down. Now, when you're doing the fusible method, it'll show you where to place your fusible. You'll fuse it down. Then the next step is tacking it down. You you just ignore that step and, and skip over to the we'll next We'll show them all of mm -hmm. that, though, right? right? Yes. So, okay. But we should show them the kits, the... Oh, and we sure. have them. Yeah, we okay, have so I can... I'll just slide this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean you up a little bit over okay. here. Okay. Leave this out. Maybe we don't need scissors. And again, your kits, you have a choice of two shades of navy blue, Two shades of charcoal gray and black, two shades of the maroon that you just saw, two shades of purple. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. and, two, and, the, and the tan, and then we have one that's like an oatmeal and a tan. So it has a little more variation between the light and dark. Yeah, so there. You can see it. It's better. You see it better on the screen than you do in person almost. Yeah. That is beautiful. Okay. So I guess you... you Click on it, and they all come with the applique pieces, which I'm thinking that no, the, here's the beige one. This is what there it is. they decided to do. This is the so so the lighter fabric is what is the main part is the main, and the darker one are those accent pieces. You get five yards of your main, and three yards of your. Border. So what's actually, your favorite they're, color? Actually, they're borders. Really, when you think about it, they use this and for there. borders. I'm the doing the blue. The blue. I love the my blue. My daughter Sally's doing the charcoal and black, so we'll be able to show that. Yeah, too. wonderful. Okay, let's get the red. Well, they saw the red on hers. Mm hmm. So we got this over blue. here. I keep folding Deb's up because I promised her I wouldn't lose it up here. <laughs> yes. And I keep putting so it with here, my stuff. That, here's the lighter mm -hmm. with the red, and here is the darker right. with the red. And it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And there is the blue. Here's the blue. If you use okay. the tack and trim method, do you still use featherweight hot flex? No. Well, I would. You could. Yeah. You could, but I. you don't have to. You don't have to? No. I guess I've just had so much luck with it mm -hmm. uh, in the wander lane. I think I would use mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, you could tack it down. And trim it, and then press it. Just remember, don't press it till after you've trimmed it. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> yeah. then you're going to have a big blob that you can't get rid of. So here's the light. Yeah, that's what I do. I snip away, then I press it. Yes. And go on to the but next But I can step. see how someone could accidentally press it first. I can oh, see how that oh. could happen. They'll know it right away. Yes. But they made a mistake. Yep. Yes. Of course, if it's still warm, you can sometimes peel it up. And yeah. Remove so it. there are the blues. Okay. And I don't see that assortment of the applique fabrics, but... Do you have the black and charcoal? Oh, let me see. Black mm -hmm. and... Hmm. What's in that bag right there laying on its side oh, by black. your knees? Um, let's nope. see. Nothing there. Are we missing mm -hmm. one? We are missing the black and charcoal. Um, is it back over here? It should be in this room. Let's see. Mm -mm. Huh. And when I took my daughters home to her... I said, now remember, Sally, if you don't like the black and the charcoal, we can trade that out. She said, no, I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, but there is a black and a charcoal. Well, well, it might have been they, they needed a... To ship it. Yeah. They yeah. might have shipped the last yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. But so. you can use your imagination. This is charcoal gray and this is black. Mm -hmm. And it has a little... It isn't a... It isn't the shadow play. It's another one that has a little bit of variation in it. I can't yeah. explain it. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. So, and then each one comes with how many different pieces of fabric? Was it 17? 17. 17 different pieces and of fabric the, and for the all the appliques. And the thread kit has 17 different spools of thread yeah. in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this the thread um, kit right here? Yes. That's pretty it. sure. Yes. That's it? Okay. So, 
and you get a cute little bag. Okay, might not be this exact one, but you, and we have the 17 spools of thread inside, and it's a lunch bag. It's a thermal. So. And I have to apologize. When I first picked the colors, I had a couple after I picked them, and some of them got shipped out I wasn't happy with. So I think they shipped them replacements. For okay, those. good. I think they did. They told yeah. me they were going to anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think okay. we caught it before okay. we did any. Okay. All right. Okay. I hope so. Good. I hope so. Yep. I don't know All what right. I was thinking. When I looked at him, I thought, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I okay. Like and he's got our lighted magnifier next. <laughs> yeah, there's and, one right there. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. That's it, really good for looking at those fabrics on the Nancy Helmerson yeah, stuff. Yeah. So to, so to... What did I do with that? Here, yeah. you look. Where's the pattern? It was right here. It was, but I don't know what I did with it. Hey, Jay, did you pick it up? Um, for Glorious Summer? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, here, right here. Oh, Glorious Nancy. Summer. Oh, yeah. He took the it's paper. Underneath. He took oh, the it's paper. underneath. I bet. Oh, mm, no. We it lost is. it. Here it is. Okay. okay. I don't yeah, want to tear it. Yeah, because how are you going to see? I don't want to tear it. No fire. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're saying, I wonder which shade yeah, of pink we'll they used. This I wonder which shade of pink they used. I wonder yes. which one. Of course, it's ha this has a sticker on it. Yeah. But you can really look at it and say, which, which stitch is that? Oh, that's that other stitch. That's this stitch. That's that stitch. It's easy yes. To see. So these patterns, you do need a magnifier. Mm -hmm. But I have yep. to admit, in here, well, in Tommy's, he tells you what fabrics to use. Yeah. Nancy doesn't. She just has photographs. Right, so right. So if you're only following Nancy like I am, this comes in really handy for mm -hmm. that. So I can go up and say, oh, I see. That's that aqua vine in the background. Mm -hmm. I bought All one right, of these one for of me and for Diane. Okay, what else do you have to and have? And the older you get, the more light you need. Well, like Steve says to, um, oh, the, the bobbins they're going to need. Lots of bobbins, mm -hmm. so we got a big shipment of these. So these are all tons of these came in. I bought and that. I know you. Do you have I this? That. Yeah. yeah, you have to and have I, this. If you like to embroider, yeah, I said I'll have to leave it and leave some in my will. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have so many. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, so if my I have daughter this, Sally gets and then, my and then, bobbins. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have the eighty. Is it eighty or a hundred of the empty baby lock bobbins? Yeah. Okay. So someone's going to inherit those. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes. That's. Here, I'll hang this back up again. And even so though even though these last forever, you do start using them up. Because mm -hmm. when you get done, there's only a little wee bit left. You hate to put that in the machine right. when you're embroidering. Right. And, and then all of a sudden, you got, and then all of a sudden, you don't want to to show that you've had the restart. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's 80 bobbins. Each one of the bobbins holds 132 yards of thread. You can see how full they are. Like our, our machine won't fill it this full. Mm -hmm. So this is more than if we would wind it ourselves. And um, it's the exact right weight. It's a 60 weight bobbin thread. Most of the pre-wound bobbins that are out on the market are 90 weight. You go to use those and your white bobbin thread comes up to the top. And you'll think something's wrong with your machine, but it isn't. It's the wrong weight bobbin thread. And so I, our machines are set for the 60 weight. And I use these when I applique too because I'm using embroidery thread on top. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So you need them no matter what technique you're using. And if I'm using a real dark green, a dark brown, or a black, then I'll change to a black. Mm -hmm. Filtec bottom. Okay. Now here's I don't have I don't have any of those. About feed dogs. Do you lower your feed dogs? Mary is asking. Four. I guess we were on Bunny Knoll at the time. Yeah. So, um, but see, when you use that button, the position stitch placement, it lowers your feed teeth for you, so that you so can get lined up. Yeah. But then when you start to sew, the feed teeth come back up. You have to have the feed teeth up to sew. Yeah, to move, right, mm -hmm. to get nice uniform stitches. So mm -hmm. you don't have, if you use that needle position stitch placement setting on your baby lock, um, you won't have to even think about the f bringing the feed teeth up. That They'll come up been automatically. That six years, and we're finally learning how to say that. Yeah. Needle, needle position, position stitch placement. placement. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But Ruth Ann uses it every time you sit down at your machine. Mm -hmm. To do applique. Yep. Okay. Or, or if you want to line up anything. 
Oh, do we have, have those to be uh, titanium oh, right. blades? Yes. Okay, so these are titanium See, coated is... blades. This is, we're going to call it the Natalia blades. Natalia, she asked me, she said, Gloria, could you get me more of those gold blades? And I, you know, I was, oh, okay, okay. She said, those last longer. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't even want to use the others. She yes. Cuts a, she cuts a lot of fiber. A lot, a lot. So couple she was saying that um, some of the other blades, they will get dull by crossing over grooves in your in your mat, but oh. these titanium coated won't. How these about are that? really really good. So this is uh, the price you see is for ten blades. And then you've got that blue rotary cutter. Right yeah, there. that that that's my favorite. This is the one I use. Is that your today. favorite? Or what do you use at home? I, I have the old style office, but I have this now because to change the blade is so much yes, easier. Yes, like look at this, to change your blade. So hopefully that won't be in our way. Okay, you just flip it over. You bring your, right like that, the blade falls off. You'll go take this one off, take it off, put the new one back on, and then you go like that. And then you push this, and it's on. I use the 28 so, millimeter a lot, so I got the 28 millimeter splash too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. We got to see if I can get these gold blades in 28, 28 millimeter. Oh, I yep. bet you can. Yeah, I will look size. for them. But that's it. This is uh, the price you saw in the bubble is for 10 blades. It's a really, really good deal. Mm -hmm. And they, Natalia says they are the best blades. Well, she should know. Yes, she yeah. should know. Because I'm about sure blades. she cuts in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she does, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so oh, how about that presser foot set? That's such a good deal because it has the open toe. Mm, what do we, we do we with pulled, our open toe? We here it is, the right open here. Toe out of there. Yes. To use today. Yeah, we sure did. And and the thing is, I want to learn how to use the this quilt binding foot right here. That is. So these feet are normally what, like um, 15, fifteen to, to 20? twenty. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you've got I the bet open that toe. One's even more. Yeah. This one, it, you you put the binding on with this. And I've talked to a couple people that use it all the time, and they said it works great. Great. So really? I think we need to demo that. Better we need than, to demo better than the free Johnny motion. Foot? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it, it shows both sides. So that one is for wraparound binding. This is one for the, huh. at the same time. I'd like to see that. Myself. It's a quarter inch piecing. There's a straight stitch foot, and this is just a foot that has a lot of markings. So let's say you want to stitch uh, three quarters of an inch from the edge of your hem, and um, that has the markings. So. We get a little drink of water. They call that the stitch, <coughs> the, the stitch guide foot for projects that require utmost accuracy. Garments, top stitching, or piecing while quilting. Stitch guide foot. So that's a good all around set. Absolutely, that's a good all around and set. And how much is and it that, PJ? It comes with uh, storage for you yes. if you like to keep yes. your feet organized. And yeah. I, could, I couldn't live so without my that open toe foot. Set? That is fifteen ninety. No way. Right. Yes. Yes. Can you believe it? Mm hmm. Six, so it's yes. it's less than three dollars a piece. Yes, oh, for it's a sake. no brainer. Yeah. Okay. 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 What else? Oh, the need? spool pin felt pad. I'm like, I don't have it on mine, but if if you put this, put that on in case somebody else is missing theirs. That it eliminates. So what happens is if you if your uh, spool of thread wobbles, it can jump. And, and that jumping action tugs pulls, on your thread. Yeah, at the needle eye. And then the thread starts to fray, and everybody thinks it's something wrong for the top. Ready? Oh, are you, you ready? Have, do you have a, do you have a felt pad No. Here? Okay, because there is a deal on felt pads. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay. So, so, our special on the felt pads you get three felt pads for nine ninety eight. Okay, that's great. Because you're going to lose them. Because they were, they look were, at mine's lost. They were four ninety five for one. Okay. So we're doing three for nine ninety eight. And like yes. you said, and they we don't even to have one to show you. Yeah. So and you, you pull off your spool and it goes flying. You don't notice. You don't know where I'll it grab, is. I'll grab one and be back so you guys okay. can All stand right. up. Okay. I still want to show the side threading needles on my okay. thing. I didn't oh, get yeah. to do that. Okay. And we want to show the door banners. Was that the bell pad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine ninety eight three pack. Okay. Great. Uh huh. <laughs> And where okay, did, and where did they go? Normally they're four ninety five each. Each. So, so that's normally it'd be fifteen dollars. Yeah. Yes, nine ninety eight. This is so good that you tuned in today. Yes. And you know I have to tell you, uh, people, 
collect bags of remnants for me and I take them home. Mm -hmm. One time I found a felt pad in one of those bags. It must have flown in there <laughs> and somebody yes. was sewing. Yes, but it was, all, but it was already all dirty and thready, so I just... Yeah. 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 See, they get dirty it and fuzzy. It wasn't worth bringing back. Yeah, yeah. and there's a beautiful machine with a dirty felt pad. You can't have that. No. No. So our thri side threading needles are where? Because I just have... You had them hang... You had them hang yeah. So are you ready to... I was going to show, show it on my blog. What I do with your sample? I have uh -oh. it right over here. Okay. Right on top. Oh, okay. okay we're hanging up there, We PJ. bring it up you there? Pulled them down. I pulled them down, and I brought them over, and now they're gone. Really? Uh-huh. Well, we lose we'll, everything. We'll just move on, and we'll You will come them. back to we'll, it. We'll yes. turn up. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Did your... Oh, for more titanium snips. If you don't have those, you have to get them. I think they're probably yeah. underneath. Yeah, yeah. so... This is, and see the same thing, they are titanium coated, and so they don't get dull like the, the plain ones. So these are better, and they have a curved blade. Here we are, so there's a curved blade on it. You can see it curving up, and it's titanium coated, it. and then it also has one of the blades is serrated. You could feel it with your fingernail. One of the blades is serrated, so it grasps that fabric and holds on to it, so you can uh, trim really nice and close. You have to have these, and we say you need at least how many pairs do you have? Two. Two. One at the cutting, one at the ironing board, one at the sewing machine. And me, I need four because I'll lay something on top of it. <laughs> oh, and I, I do can't that find too. it. Yeah, so I try to put so. them back in the package all the time when I'm done. At the end of the day, I don't put them back in every time I snip. Uh huh. But, you know, so I can find them. Yeah. I don't remember you laying the needles down here. I, I put them somewhere. Okay. 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 And then we'll see if we can find them. now okay. he has a, a deal of the day on these patterns. Oh, okay. does he? Yeah. Let's Maybe see. he didn't put them in yet. Let's see. Uh, how about? Oh, he's got a whole bunch of things. How about some bow nash? Yeah. So what is he? Is it, let's see what price he has on that. Okay. Did you put that in? No. No, so what price does it? 1095. 10 see, maybe he says, let's wait on that. Because okay, that might be something that. he's going to go 998 on. Okay. Why don't you just change it to 998? Okay. Because I didn't put it in, and he probably didn't get a chance. And, and the thing is, there might have been somebody, he ran to get felt pads, but there might have been somebody waiting to talk to him about a sewing machine, so he got detained, right? Yes. So there you go. Bone ash. So can you change the price to 9.98? I, I have it at 9.98. This is the best stuff. Where is it? Oh, we're over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, here right here. Go. Okay. This turns everything into a fusible. Mm -hmm. So the name of the company is Bow Nash, and everybody thinks we're calling it Bone Ash, <laughs> but it's Bow Nash. But this is their fuse it powder. You shake it on like salt. We just made this 9.98. I did. Yeah, that's. Oh, you did. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so anything okay. That, anything that ends in 98. Okay. A special price, yeah. Okay. So, oh, okay. It's already a special price now. It's even more. Well, special. it's even more <laughs> special. But we took another dollar off then. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. He says it's okay. All right. So it makes everything a fusible. So we use it when we're doing our embroidery purse table runners. When you know you we, say, we look, it looks exactly like salt. Yeah, it does. And you just shake it on as mm -hmm. light as you would. Well, I kind of go heavy on the salt. Mm -hmm. Like you're salting a steak, or you know what I say when I'm salting potato salad. I, I shake it. I give it a good shake. Yeah, Kathy. And, Kathy but you don't have to have the whole no. thing. No, Kathy no. says use less than you think you should, and your iron should be hotter than you think you should. Okay. Right? Isn't that yes. It? Mm -hmm. Look so right brush this off my hand. Excuse yes. me. Yes. Oh, here's your needles. Oh, you found them. Where were they? Um, I had them. Okay. It's my fault. Oh, no fault. Okay. All right. These are side threading needles. I'm going to open this pack because I didn't bring mine with me today. But I'll put it right back here, together. Do you want me to open them? I, I got, got something it. Here. Okay. Okay. And you're going to show us something? When you're applicating, yeah. When you're applicating like this, when you start out, you have your tail. Mm -hmm. When I when I end it up, I use my scissors on the machine and it pulls them to the back. Yeah. So, but when you start now out. Look at these long tails. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want to snip it because then the st stitches could pull out. Mm -hmm. So what you do is. This needle has a slit in the side. Can you mm. see where I am? I don't know. Here, have you, if you lay it on something dark, then I can zoom in. And and usually on the package, they show you a picture. Mm -hmm. Here it is. That's what go. it is. 
There's okay. a good shot of it. Oh, yeah, you could see it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. when you have a long tail like this, you take it and you wrap it around the needle and you slide it up until it hops into that slit. Okay. Then I come down here and I put the needle in pretty much where it just came out. And then you pull it through. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to pretend we're going to make this a short tail. Oh, no. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so now it's not long enough for me to do that sliding yeah. up the needle. So I put my needle in where I want to take it to. And I wrap the thread around it. I used to say like a barber pole, but like a candy cane. It hops into the eye. And I pull it through. As you're pulling it, it just goes right into the eye. eye. Yep. There you go. You have to have those. Mm -hmm. And I like yep. the ones that thread from the side better because the one they have some you can snap in from yeah. the back. And it, sometimes it comes back out when you're pulling it through the fabric. Yeah. So I, I like the side thread better. They used to have sewing machine needles that had the side. They have them. And they, they don't work, though. They jam. Oh. Because what it is, that side opening in the needle catches on the fabric. Oh. Yeah. Don't, so we, we never sold them. We tried it out and never had any luck, so we never sold them. So don't buy the sewing machine needles mm -hmm. that do that. And also, I'm, I'm a long arm quilter. I haven't quilted in a while. But um, if I want to pull my tails through on the long arm, I use these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good gadget. Okay. Yep. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There is? Okay, let's go. Okay. Um, what do you think? Should we just, should we go ahead without Steve? Yeah. Oh, but he I has these he's bundles. Coming. He's, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, you come in so and I'll, you I'll, tell I'll, them. I'll, here, so here's a microphone. Start with this one. Yeah. That one's, oh. you get both for sixteen ninety eight. dollars Sixteen ninety eight. Yes. Okay. And this is a mat cleaner. Okay. And the small wool yeah. mat, which is so handy to have right by your machine. But I use this as a mouse pad. I know you do. Yes. And, and now so I, I am. use it. Yes. Now I am. And I have it right next to my machine. And uh -huh. if I'm using straight pins to line things up, instead of having to reach all the way over to my magnet, I stick them like in right. the side of this, right. and they're all there, right ready. Uh -huh. for it's handy to have. <clears throat> you can yeah, you can iron your embroideries with it, iron your small quilt blocks, and then this is for cleaning. When which, you accidentally get your hot fix on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So he said sixteen ninety eight. That's a good deal. Okay. Now what are these? Did you click on them? Well, Color this one's first. This one's first. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's bright. So this is. Five spools of thread, four are solids, and one is a variegated. And how much are these, PJ? Nine ninety eight. Nine ninety eight. Oh my goodness, wow. that's and great. And this variegated is actually made up of these four colors. Yeah. And what are these suggested retail? And these are like three fifty a piece. So that's seven seven fourteen. And these I think are seven ninety nine. So to get this for nine ninety eight is a really good yes, deal. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Really bright colors for spring. Yeah. Okay. And this one's another one. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Nine ninety-eight. Nine ninety-eight. <laughs> Steve did it for nine ninety-eight. Okay. So again, four solids. All four of those colors are in the variegated. So you'll be adding to your thread collection at a really good deal. So there's. I'll tell you the names of the colors. So there's opalescent pink. Which I would call that lavender or I lilac. Would too. lilac you? Yes. There's a brown, a beige, let's see what they call that one. Tusk. Tusk. And then copper. copper. And then those colors are in that in the variegated. Would you ever think of making a variegated out of those colors? But it no. looks pretty. I know. I never would. No. Okay. And then I know he had oh, this is a good one right here, PJ. What is that? Okay. Two know. flash drives. So these are two four megabyte flash drives with, oh, maybe oh, he didn't load them. I don't see that in there, but maybe, uh, We'll get him to put check. it in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see, I'll go tell him. You guys talk about the patterns. So he just brought us up a stack of them, but it is four patterns. So maybe he's probably telling us refresh. to, um, he's telling us to refresh. stall. Stop. Refresh. Oh, try refreshing. Um, no, how about the Gypsy Quilter 
magnetic pin cushion slap on. Oh, I don't know that? the way. Oh, there we go. We okay, so it is magnetic and That's it's a cute. slap. Remember those snap bracelets? Mm -hmm. They were so popular. So it's a heart and this is a big magnet. That's a big magnet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's for you. You put your pins on it. Your little wonder clips will stick to it. Even your snips will <laughs> stick to it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna run over and tell him I took the oh I took the mag the, my microphone off. I'm just gonna tell him that these two items are not in the system yet. Oh, the cards he, aren't either. Uh, I don't think I didn't see them. Okay. Did you, PJ? Um, yeah. No. Okay. okay. I'll just go tell. But uh, what we got is uh, the perfect pencil. The perfect uh. pencil. Is this pencil oh, perfect? Wow. It says it is, so it must be. I, they're iron, iron. Oh, they're iron off. So they're they're just like the um, friction, only they're pencils. It's a white iron off pencil is invisible, is visible on colored to black fabrics. It makes clear, neat marks and won't brush off when handled. Your marks will be visible on the fabric until you iron it away completely like magic with no residue. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you remember, you're too young, PJ. When we were kids, our teachers had red and blue markers like this and they'd pull the string and mm -hmm. they were grease markers to mark an A or a B on your test. Remember those grease oh. markers yeah. the teachers would use? Well, mm -hmm. that's how you sharpen these, like the old school grease markers. You pull the string. Oh. Do you remember those? The teacher yes. would put an A or a yes. B on your paper. Uh -huh. And these, will, these work on any color fabric but white and they will not rub off until you iron it. Yeah, like yeah the they friction. disappear. Okay, yeah. let's look at the packaging. Okay. Just if you want to lay it down. Like oh, okay. Sure, I'm right sorry. There. Okay. And <coughs> okay. And this is by OESD, and it's their perfect uh, marking pencil. They're the ones that brought Iron us off. the little scrape, um, score this, tool, too. That's a, and this is in there. Oh, and okay. he has I this have in that. there for nine ninety eight too. Okay, this is a must. This over here. Okay, well that must is not Okay, in yet, yeah, this one is. This um, is the USB extension no, pigtail. No, it's not in yet. It's not so in yet. Okay. We're he's, working on it. What about How the about the flash ones? drives? Press refresh. I think he put those in. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to run Deb, okay. I'm going to run Deb's um glorious summer pieces. Okay. Okay. She okay. The, the, pigtail, okay. The, the USB pigtail is in. Is in. The pigtail. Okay. So this is, I want one of these at home, uh, but it plugs into your USB port on your machine and then you're not having to peek all the way around to see the port. This just swings forward. In fact, I'm going to open one because I want one at home because I am tired of peeking in. And this is something I leave in the machine all the time, so I'm just going to rip it open. And if you don't mind coming over there, because sure. this just makes it so much easier. Okay, so you'll put it in the port, and then look at this. You don't have to peek around to see it. It just, you grab it, put your flash drive in it, and it also prevents you from um, wearing out the port. Mm -hmm. So, but really for me, it's more the convenience. I, I don't, uh, I'm tired of peeking around and jabbing at it, trying to get it in, and here it's right in front of me, and I can put my flash drive in. So, that is the OESD, they call it something like the pigtail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that goes into the, your machine, and then your flash drives go in here. And it's just so much easier. So, I need one of these. You're sticking that in I your do. bag. Right? I do. And actually, I feel like every machine needs them, because it just makes it so much easier. Okay. Okay. So, oh, now, the next thing that he has on is the USB storage case. So look at this cool little gadget. I forgot we even had these. So oh, this. Oh, Gloria, you don't have a mic. Oh, no, no mic. Oh, oh goodness. No. I didn't have a mic, a mic over there well, either. I saw what it was. And okay. Yeah. yeah, they're okay. Okay, so this is a little case. Don't worry, Ruth Ann. Right. Oh, well, she's got hers right there. Yeah, to put. And so it will fit one, two, three, four, five. So ten flash drives will go in this case. So keep them safe. Goes right in the case. Okay, so this is a little flash drive case for nine ninety eight. Could you embroider on it? You old oh, no, because then you'd the close. zippers in the way. Yeah. Oh. No, I mean you could maybe put initials way up you here. Could do yeah. A little so patch. A patch. 
You could put yes, a patch on it. Yes, you could. You could make an iron-on patch and put it on there. Perfect. Yep. Okay. All right. He's coming. He's running around. Okay, see if the two-pack... Two oh, pack. the t the peace tree patterns are in there. Let me do that one next. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to get is that we love these patterns. They're just really easy. They turn out really nice. It does a... He, he gave me like six different ones, but these are, are very popular patterns. They're normally three fifty dollars a piece, I think, and he is going to give you... Uh, four of them, and it's going to be a random selection. I'm just kind of throwing them down. Really easy projects. A random selection of Ooh, four of them, but we hand pick them. We don't have any that we don't like. Uh, random selection of them for $9.98. Okay, so it'll be who knows what ones you'll get, but you will get huh? four for $9.98. Nice. Yes, and they're normally three fifty. And they're a piece. really great for baby quilts and for community service quilts, lap quilts. Yeah, the, all kinds of easy, easy projects. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And then now. you do have a two pack of USB. Ooh, okay. And so this is. I think you need to buy some time here with these USBs. I don't know if there's a lot to talk about with that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, now, does he have it in the system? Yes, he does. Yes. Okay. So that is sold space 140, and you will get two USBs with the little wristlet, and they are four gigabyte. This is the size we always use size we always use. It, it, it holds a lot of designs and they're really hard to find uh, because most of the flash drives that are out there are really big and our machines can't use them. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they are, and he's got a nice you will get two, to them. yes, are we, <laughs> they, are we do. Done by they have a nice metallic <laughs> sheen <laughs> and they have a lovely strap and <laughs> lo lovely colors, yes. He yeah. was trying. He said, "Just keep talking about them because yes. he's buying us yeah. time." Yeah. Yes. She's going to drop okay. That right there. Here. So what is oh, this? This is two. Will it be these exact needles? Okay, we'll our go-to needles. Okay. A pack of universals. They'll get so they'll get a embroidery. And embroidery. Ninety fourteen embroidery, and then the universal eighty twelve. And I have one of these pillows at each of my machines. Yes. And because I sometimes have you put an eighty twelve in and you only use it for. 10 minutes right. and then you go back to embroidery so then I stick it in here so I can use yeah. it again. So this is, it's got a, like a little chart and it has the name of the needle on the side. So maybe I'll just pull that off just so they can see. So your universal needle, here's your universal and look at it matches. I never noticed that. So it's oh. gray and that stripe is gray. I didn't gray. notice that either. Okay, so these are universal 80s. When you're done with it, you're going to put it in right in there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, wrong one. One next to it. So you're going to put it right in there, and it's got the Baby Lock logo on it. We love this. And then the here's the 9014 embroidery. Same color. Yeah, I never noticed that. I didn't either. Oh, my goodness. They have this really cute girl that's in charge of uh, coming up with neat things, Promotion logo ideas. items. Mm -hmm. And she's and this, come up with some really this, good ones. And then this hangs. It yeah, has a, yeah mine, I have mine hanging. So maybe you, there's like there's a little a strap there. there. Yeah, maybe I maybe I just made up a hanger and put yeah. through here. But I know I have mine hanging by my machine. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's one more. There's one more refresh. I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Uh -huh. So how many? How many? Four. Oh. Nine ninety-eight. Okay. Wow. Okay, he's I'm hiding it. Say, he's let hiding me look. It. Let me look. Let me look. Yeah. I would say eight. Wow, that would be an unbelievable deal. So there are eight, two, two. Oh, yeah. You want to go think with eight? You go, yeah, because yeah. you need eight okay. to survive. I'll, 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 yeah, you can change well, the this is, where, this is where they can resell them on Amazon and make money, right? Yes, because you go oh. check them. I'm going to go check them on Amazon You'll right now rich. and tell you. You will be rich. So. Yes. You get it and describe them. I'm so. going to go look at how much they're selling them for. Okay, at so this is, oh, so they're, do we, they're in the bubble. Do they know what they are? No, it should be a mystery. Okay. Gray mini spool so, cap. Mini spool caps. So the the question was how many for nine ninety eight, and we had a two pack. For for, for four dollars. Four, four ninety five. Oh, I thought it was three ninety five. Four ninety five for two. Now, for today's special value, is going to be eight of them, for nine ninety eight. Nine ninety eight. That's fabulous. That's it is great. fabulous. I feel like you need. 
So now I don't have to keep guarding mine like a... <laughs> you, can, you can get these, Ruthann. We'll, 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 we'll give you these. Here. I keep guarding mine all the time and counting them, making sure I'm not losing them. So you'll get eight total because you know they go flying. And mm -hmm. we have a running joke here is that we're going to move a piece of furniture and like they're going to pour out from behind <laughs> the furniture because we lose them that often. So When we closed the filming studio in the basement, we had a lottery going. Yes. Everybody was trying to guess how many gray swool caps we'd they're get. They're like socks. Yeah. One of them on Amazon for six dollars and ninety nine cents. PJ, you got to zoom in don't on it. They're get, not going to believe it. Don't get gouged. A, it, it is an yes. investment because you're going to be able to resell these on there it is. Amazon. One of them for six dollars and ninety nine cents, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I read it. I thought, oh, you have to get. No, two that has to be three or four. Nope. You're probably thinking one. one. Wow. Mm hmm. <laughs> that, that's Mind the blown. grand finale yeah, of the day. So. Yes. Did yeah. you show this already? We yes, did. we did. The okay. Case. Yeah. That's yeah. when I ran down with Deb's stuff. So tomorrow, oh, well, you're going to have the Kimberbell fabric, which never goes on sale. Never goes on sale. So that is wonderful. One night, one night, one night Steve sold a few pieces of it, and he had to, he had to do it with Cassie not knowing. Yes, yes. <laughs> under, under the cover of darkness, yeah. Yeah. I did it in a, in a back alley, so she never knew. She was texting. But, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> can you believe it? Our one thousandth no live I show. I don't believe. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and all of you for watching has made that possible yes. for us to reach that, well, that milestone. What was so, the actual date you started? Twenty twenty one or twenty twenty? It, it was in September of twenty twenty. Okay. And we started with a Janine Babic trunk show. Oh, that's I how this all started. Yep. And I didn't, I didn't start, right I didn't start till 2021. Had no idea what we were doing. Mm -mm. And I said, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it and let's do it. And we did. And, uh, and we the rest are, is so, history. Yeah. And, and so some days you. we still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we just make it look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Thank you all so much. We'll say, tune in tomorrow at three o'clock. Yes. You will, you're, this is just deals you can't pass up. That's so right. we're, this is really awesome. We've made it to this milestone. So thank you all of you for okay. helping us get there. Mm -hmm. right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.